Hey, I want to show you a couple of cool updates that I just published to Tracebook. So now you can add delay, polarity, inversion, and coherence blanking to the magnitude and phase graphs. And um, these are features that most of us have become accustomed to in our audio analyzers. And so we just wanted to give people some of those same features here in Tracebook and also just make the data easier to look at. We found that some people um, were struggling with some of the data that just didn't look normal to them, what they are familiar with. And so the thinking here is that if you can manipulate some of this data and adjust it just to uh, make it make more sense to you, then hopefully the site uh, Tracebook will be easier to use for you. Um, so let me give you an example of that. You might want to adjust this coherence blanking threshold so that you don't see any of this information down here, which is probably noise. So you might adjust it to something like 80%. And once that field updates, because it's auto binding, um, then you also see this slider jump up here and you see this information disappear. So this slider also adjusts the coherence blanking threshold. Okay. Um, we can invert polarity, and as soon as you either invert polarity or add or subtract delay, then you're going to see the um, new data in blue and the old data, the original data, in gray. And I did that because I found that without this, it was a little bit disorienting because, as you can see, it's not instantaneous. It takes a second to redraw all of those points. And so if all you see is the new data, I don't know, it was, it was a little bit confusing. So I, I like this better. Uh, I hope this is useful for you. And then, of course, the other thing is delay. So let's say you wanted to add half a millisecond of delay because you want to see what half a cycle looks like at 1K. So you would put 0 0.5 milliseconds, and it would take a second for that to update. And then you could see that adjustment here. Um, the other thing I implemented is crosshairs here on the graph. That was requested a long time ago. So thanks to the person that requested that. And I think it looks pretty nice. Um, so let me know what you guys think and any of your ideas for updates on these. Um, one other helpful thing to know is that these settings are now permanent. So if you navigate away from this page and then come back to it, these settings will still be here. So let me show you what I mean. If I go back to the home page and then I select the speaker again, these settings are still here. Now it should be pretty obvious. Um, but another indication that you have some changes here is that this text is now red. And so I, I don't know, that's the only thing I can think of. So let me know what you think. So you open this and you can see, oh, it looks like it didn't uh, maintain this polarity inversion. So I'll have to check on that. Um, but otherwise, uh, all these settings should be maintained. And then, you know, if you forgot that they are on there, you could just open it up and hit reset, or maybe you like those changes. But the thinking here is that you would be adjusting these settings because you want to see this data differently and now you're happy with the way the data is and so you want it to always be that way. If you would like to make some suggestions about the future of Tracebook, you can do that in the forum. So whenever you're on tracebook.org, there's a link at the top navigation bar that says forum. Whenever you get over to the forum, you'll see the second item down is Tracebook feature request. And that's where we would love to hear from you on um, ways that we could improve Tracebook to make it more valuable for you. So let me know what you think about these. And um, thanks everyone for your support of the project.